My name is Aisha Lul Ahmed, and I'm here to share with you all about my year of journey. The most impactful decision I've ever made was to change how I view myself in this world. You see, by doing this, the quality of my life has improved. The woman that stands before you today has been in a constant battle with failure. You either see failure as the end or the beginning. Before year up, I saw every failure as an ending, and this made it difficult for me to believe in myself. At Year Up, staff is always saying high support, high expectations, and support is what got me to this stage. Two years ago, Chris, an accountant that worked in my building, asked me every day what my goals were and where did I see myself in five years. And every time I hated to admit, I couldn't picture a future for myself. I couldn't use my imagination to dream of what my future could look like. Those conversations and his support held me to a higher expectation than what I originally held for myself. He pushed me to think outside my comfort zone, and with his support, I recorded my first YouTube video. Chris was just as happy as me. He also celebrated the steps I've taken to challenge myself and invested in a product that will help me continue my YouTube journey. He believed in me and saw my potential when I couldn't, something small but very impactful in my life. It was then that I felt this void and figured, I don't know what or where I'm going, but I refuse to stay where I am. I deserve more from myself. Around the same time in my life, my friend Ahmed, a former student, was graduating from year up. I asked him, a year is a huge commitment. Is it really worth it? What did you benefit from it? He said to me, Aisha, what you put in is what you will get out of it. Year up reflects my dedication and commitment. I didn't see myself here a year ago. I was very doubtful at the time and wanted so desperately to believe that if I worked hard enough, I could eventually fill this void. I had to trust in my vision no matter how unclear it was. Unknowingly, I was taking the right steps. I came to Year Up with a commitment to myself in hopes of unlocking my potential. Year Up provided me with structure, accountability, respect, and value. You should have seen me a year ago when my instructors would ask, what does accountability mean to you? Um, whatever it says in the dictionary. <laughs> no, what does accountability mean to you exactly? What does it look like? I mean, is there some new definition I don't know about? To answer that question, yes, there is. There is a new definition. It is one we have to carry for ourselves. You are with yourself 24 seven. So if you plan on finishing something, you better do it. If you fall down, you better get back up because accountability is a voice in your head that tells you you have to do it. My purpose is to reach my full potential in every aspect of my life. And I truly believe I was meant to do this program in order to understand that. I remember the first time I believed I could overcome any obstacle. My instructor Christian gave me a shout out and told our class, I appreciate the quality of your peers' work. This is a great example of what I expect. That student is Aisha. Once again, God has placed someone in my life to prove me wrong, and I am not my failures. It made me emotional. A part of me felt happy and relieved, but I also felt embarrassed. I had a difficult conversation with my instructor, and he said to me, you have to get used to being in the spotlight because you're going to do amazing things. You have a powerful voice. Imagine the kind of impact you will have, Aisha. You are going to open doors not only for yourself, but those that come after you. And in that moment, I realized that my life is bigger than just me. You better believe I took him up on that offer. If he didn't teach me that valuable lesson, I wouldn't have the courage to speak in front of you all today. Never will I, ever, never will I underestimate the power of a supportive community. Our staff taught us to hold our peers to the same standards we hold ourselves. As your peer, I will value and respect you. I will hold you accountable, and I expect the same from you. Try to picture how you would feel if everyone around you celebrated your small wins as if they were great accomplishments. You can't help but want to celebrate it too. My peers have seen my personal struggles and witnessed the steps I've taken to improve. Of course, every obstacle you overcome is a win, no matter how big or small. As a community, we are always celebrating a win whether it was our own, that of a peer, or a staff member. This is the environment that I needed to unlock my potential. During my internship at Amazon, 
I wanted to find my own community that shared the same values I've learned. I am grateful for our corporate partners and their dedication to making a difference. My introduction to Ben, the black employee network at Amazon, came before we knew our internship placement. They came to have a panel discussion about their experiences and share advice for our new journey. As a young black woman in tech, to be able to hear them speak was motivational. I saw myself in them. You see, Year Up prepares us for what to expect by educating us on advocating for ourselves and finding people we connect with. Ven gave me a sense of community in a very large company. They brought people together and demonstrated to me that we have a voice and it is valuable. Luckily for me, my mentor Sophia was also a part of my Amazon community. She is my friend, teacher, accountability partner, and like a big sister all in one. To me, she is that person that helps me snap out of losing myself to the struggles and focus on overcoming them. My managers and coworkers were also a part of my Amazon community. They helped me feel inclusive. They taught me everything I needed to know to succeed, and they pushed me to challenge myself. And all of this is possible because everyone involved before me paved the way to build this level of trust. This is the power of a supportive community. And if I were to ever find myself in an environment that lacks one, I will take the initiative to start one. It takes one person to make a change. We are here to teach, inspire, and learn from one another. I'm excited to see what the future holds for us all. Everyone here today has a powerful voice. And when we bring our voices together, our impact becomes that much more. This way, we are lifting while we climb. And that is the formula to making a change. I talked a lot about small wins and great accomplishments, and I'm proud to share with you all today that this is my first graduation. And I will be starting school full-time on Monday at Sassiato Community College. <laughs> In leaving here today, I want you all to remember Every situation that makes us uncomfortable is an opportunity to grow. There are situations in life that open our eyes to what we fear the most. And I say this with the utmost confidence. If you witness our struggle, you will witness us overcome. This is only the beginning. Congratulations, cohort 15 and 16.